everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Little Dragon Reader. Today, I've brought in a shoe-tastic story for you all. It's called Adil Ali's Shoes. And our guest for today, can you guess who it is? Well, it's none other than Baby Dragon. Hello, y'all. What's crackling up today? Adil Ali's Shoes Adil Ali ran a small shop in the busy market of a little town and lived in a small room above the shop. Everyone liked him because he was a kind person with a good heart. But there was one problem. Adil's shoes, they were old and worn and patched and soon in so many places. They weren't very nice to look at. But Adil loved them all the same. They're so comfortable, he would say, and they've been with me for years. But everyone else felt differently. How can anyone wear such old, scruffy-looking shoes, they wondered. Someone needs to throw them away, said Sadia, the samosa seller. Someone needs to bury those shoes, said Priya, the pakora seller. Even when Adil went to the mosque to pray, his shoes always ended up by themselves, no matter where he left them. No one would keep their shoes next to his. The festival of Eid was approaching. Adil's friends decided to buy him a special gift. So, on the day of Eid, they presented him with a pair of shiny brown shoes. Adil's eyes filled with tears. He really didn't want to part with his old, worn-out shoes. He would miss them very much, and this made him sad. Ah, said Priya the Pakora seller. Look, Adil Ali is crying. He is so happy. Adil wiped away his tears and thanked his friends. After his guests had finished their meal and left, Adil tried on the new shoes. They looked very nice. He turned his feet this way and that way, admiring them. Then, he sighed, he had a problem. If I keep my old shoes, I'll want to wear them, he said, and my friends will be upset. What should he do, he thought, and thought, and thought. Ah, yes, he finally cried. I know. Adil picked up his old pair of shoes and hugged them tightly. Thank you for taking me on my journeys, near and far, he said. I will miss you. He took a deep breath, walked over to a window, and with all his might, flung his shoes into the river below. Splash! Adil sighed and waved goodbye to his shoes as he watched them float away along the river. After a moment, he looked down at his feet and said, Now I'll have to wear my new shoes. The next day, when Joseph, the fisherman, pulled his net out of the water, he was very angry when he saw not only fish, but also old, tatty, worn-out shoes tangled in his net. Adil's shoes! Joseph marched from his boat all the way to Adil's house and threw the shoes on the floor. Adil Ali! Don't throw your shoes in the river, shouted Joseph. They've ruined my fishing net! Adil was surprised. My shoes, he said. You've come back to me. He went over to the other window, which faced the market, and placed his shoes on the ledge to dry. Suddenly, his cat jumped onto the window ledge. Down the shoes fell. Down, down, down. Smack! They hit Sadia, the samosa seller, on her head and made her drop her samosas on the ground. I screamed Sadia. She looked around to see what had hit her and saw Adil's old, tatty, worn-out shoes. Throwing things on old women, she shouted and threw them back into Adil's open window. Sorry, sorry, called Adil. It happened by mistake. But Sadia didn't want to hear. She was so angry. Adil sighed. My shoes, he said. You've come back to me. He didn't know what to do. 
He lay awake at night, thinking and thinking. Suddenly, Adil jumped up. He had a wonderful idea. Early the next morning, Adil took his old shoes and climbed a very steep hill. When he got to the top, he leaned back and then, with all his might, threw his shoes as far as he could. There, he said, "Now I'll never see my shoes again." And with that, he walked back home. It just so happened at the moment Adil threw his shoes, Shahid, the sugar cane seller, was riding to the market. The shoes fell onto the back of his cart, right on top of his sugar cane. When Shahid stopped, he was horrified to see Adil's old, tatty, worn-out shoes. He immediately rode to Adil's house. Adil Ali, keep your scruffy old shoes off of my sugar cane! Shouted Shahid, and threw the shoes in front of Adil. Adil looked down at the ground. My shoes, he said. You have come back to me. He scratched his head, and again he wondered, How can I get rid of my shoes? So he thought, and thought, and thought. Ah! Cried Adil. I know. The next day, he woke up early, ran through the empty bazaar, and climbed up a big mulberry tree. He wedged his shoes into a cluster of branches and smiled. Now, dear shoes, he said, "You can stay here forever, and no one will ever bother you." Later that morning, the bazaar was busy. Busy, busy, busy. Sadia was selling her spicy samosas. Joseph was selling his masala fish. Pintu was selling his hot, delicious rotis. Shahid was selling his sugar cane juice. Karam was taking the cobs of corn out of his baskets on his donkey. Priya was shouting out, "Buy tasty pakoras! Come and buy my pakoras!" Just then. A strong wind began to blow. It blew so hard that it threw Adil's shoes out of the mulberry tree onto Karam's donkey. Hee haw, hee haw! Brayed the donkey, kicking up his legs. Karam's corn went flying everywhere and landed on Sadia's samosas, Joseph's fish, Priya's pakoras, and Pintu's rotis. Everyone was furious. Karam held up the old. Taddy worn out shoes. Oh no! Shouted everyone. Adil's shoes. They all looked at each other in dismay and shook their heads. This has to stop, they said. So off they marched to Adil's house. Here are your shoes, Adil Ali. They said. We think you should keep them on your feet. Adil smiled. Yes, he said. That's just where they belong. He put away his new shoes and put on his old, tatty, worn-out shoes. Then he took a walk through the city, and no one ever made fun of Adil Ali's shoes again. Did you enjoy that story, Baby Dragon? Yep, I did. I sure did. That was really a shoe tastic story. And I think Adil Ali and his old, tatty, worn-out shoes are perfect together. If you enjoyed this video, give it a tremendous thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so that you can stay tuned to see more stories from me, the little dragon reader, and my little sister, baby dragon. Goodbye. Goodbye.